Okay, so hi. If if you're seeing this, then you you are watching part two of whatever this is because yeah, then you'd probably have seen part one too, uh, because it would just be way too long if I didn't make it part one, part two. Uh, yeah. So in this video, I'm gonna like uh, clean the stuff up and things. So yeah. Okay, we are in the bathroom. The clothes are in the bathtub because I have to be very sure not to make a mess and just ignore the dryer. <laughs> I mean washing machine because it will just continue to be loud. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do now. I got to like uh, try to save them somehow. So I got to think out what I'm going to do with what and just generally how I'm gonna do this. Some can be washed in the washing machine, some need to be bleached and maybe dyed. Some need to, I don't know, be washed carefully and spot cleaned somehow. So this is gonna be a ride. So yeah, maybe some of you can learn from my mistakes or something like that, I don't know. Okay, here I am. I can just shut the toilet seat to just have a little bit better manners, I suppose. But I am here over the bathtub and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with the stuff. I feel like this is a, a pretty good shot. This will be a cute thumbnail. I feel so YouTuber-y when I, when I talk about like thumbnails and, and stuff and editing because I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, I, I got these fab gloves, ASMR, but yeah so wait oh my gosh i could do a try on haul with the stuff in filthy condition no no i i'm not doing that uh -uh. Th that's just that's too icky but i will try the stuff on once it's at least partially restored because these things truly smell like they've been in a suitcase for like 50 years or whatever mm. Like, it's not that bad, but it does smell like, like, if you've smelled, like, vintage clothing in, like, a thrift store, they have, like, a, a slight scent of, like, old. This is, like, that times, like, a hundred, because it's, it's strong. And it also kind of smells like the ocean somehow, which would not make sense, because we live pretty far from the beach, which is kind of sad, but, like... It's like a half hour drive, so that's not too bad, but yeah. But I've gone on too long about like whatever it is I've gone on about now. So here is this. Just ignore my unimportant, wait, this is way too low. Just ignore my unimportant outfit today because this this is just my painting outfit since I've been painting the dollhouse. This isn't that stylish, I guess. You know what? I actually feel I do feel compelled to try this on. But I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Uh. <sighs> this is freaky. And it's itchy. Oh boy. I look cool at least. Slightly damp. I'm like freaking out here. Wait. I won't show off this, which is great for, I don't know, daily day use or a scary grandmother Halloween costume. I can cosplay Granny from that one horror game, <laughs> even though I don't think this is what she wears. I don't remember what her outfit looks like, but I don't know, getting horror film grandmother vibes from this. And that's the kind of vibe I want. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add a few more tiktoked or weird buttons. I'm not. I, I just can't English today, can I? Even though I learned English before Norwegian, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, th this is fairly fixable. I think I may be able to put it in the washing machine, 
but I'm gonna try to wash it by hand first because that's a bit risky to just toss it in the washing machine. And this I know can go in the washing machine or I don't have concrete evidence, but I'm like almost completely certain. So that I will do. <laughs> and I decided to keep these socks because they're kind of cute and like uh, I like doing like 1920s outfits for parties and stuff and yes I acknowledge that these are not 20s socks whatsoever these are like 60s or 50s because they could be older than I think they're 60s but whatever because the the trend was to have that stripe on the back of your stocking I'm pretty sure that was the trend even back in the 20s so I don't need like some sort of really good replica as long as the sock has like a, a stripe on the back because that's better than what I have now at least so these are gonna be great for that if they survive a washing because they're socks so I'm not gonna wash them by hand I want I really I really want to put them in the washing machine and I think they're gonna be fine but if not it's not like a big deal and then I did decide to keep this gnarly jacket and I don't mean that in a cool surfer way I mean genuinely disgusting but I'm fairly certain I can like do something cool with it I'm gonna wash or I'm gonna have to do some research on if you wash before you bleach or bleach before you wash when it comes to this type of stuff because maybe if I wash it the stains will get like even more embedded into the fabric so I should like bleach it first but maybe it's better to wash it to see if it comes out and then bleach it but like I, I honestly don't know so I'll have to like watch some laundry videos on YouTube but that's what I decided to save everything else I threw away because it was just eh. like some of it kind of looked okay until you like looked at the back and there was like big holes or like nasty sweat stains and it just wasn't really salvageable so like I'm sorry if any of you wanted some of that stuff and were like willing to pay money for it but I'm gonna just trust me none of it really was something that you want like really like it, it, I don't think it showed so well on camera but you do not want any of those things okay you don't but yeah now I'm gonna do some research and I'm gonna try to wash some stuff okay so I put the <coughs> excuse me I put the jacket into the uh, water with bleach because I didn't have very much bleach so I just had to put like a little water in there and here we have my fine bleach poking spatula which isn't really necessary today because i'm wearing gloves anyway but whatever might as well yeah that's actually a good idea because i don't want to get bleach on the rest of the clothes Jeez, that that would be bad um but yeah i found out that it's probably best to bleach it before i wash it that may not be right but i am not very laundry wise yet but yeah, we'll learn. And the stakes aren't very high. Like if I manage to mess this up, it's not really gonna be a big deal. And so we have a little situation here. I was washing this and the water turned kind of green. So like, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I think the dye is kind of coming out. So I really hope it doesn't like fade or like turn the fabric a weird color. I mean, messed up the pattern or something? I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so this has been pretty difficult. <coughs> and it still smells, like, slightly weird. But it's, like, clean-ish. And if anything, it's, like, more mangled than what it was in the beginning. But it's clean at the very least. So that that's good and I think I may wear it like twice or something in the state that it's in and then eventually I'll like cut stuff up and like I don't know make something like the the upper part is pretty okay or not really because I was thinking I could make like a poncho 
don't even ask. I can do something with it at least. So it's just gonna dry here for now. Okay. Uh, it's the next day now, and the light is really bad, but this turned out okay, so now it just has to dry. I noticed it has some holes and stuff at the at the bottom, but that isn't really like a problem if I'm gonna use it for a scary Halloween costume. And this dried really nicely, so that is cool. And these did not survive whatsoever. I think they were probably meant to be hand washed, but I just wasn't gonna do that. So that's all right, I guess. This is just still in there. It's probably gonna get destroyed because I don't wanna take it out yet. But eh, whatever, I think it's gonna be okay. And that survived. I don't really need to show it off any closer. Uh, here's the, the kimono thing on or I really need to move the camera because you can't really see that well. Uh, there. So it looks pretty cool. Even if it is messed up. Um, now I can't stand on the bathtub really or I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so like there are still really huge holes. So if I'm gonna wear it, I'll just have to like live with that. But it's it's still pretty cool. And I don't know. I just put this belt on with it because I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not quite so sure when or where I'd wear this. Like I was considering wearing it today to the mall, but I'm they're gonna like kick me out because they think I'm some sort of I don't know, crazy person who's wearing like a, a messed up uh, uh, kimono that they found in the attic and I'm like yeah that wouldn't be incorrect so like I'm not sure I mean it could be cool for like some sort of a uh, I'm, I'm not even sure it's, it's, it's just awesome but it will be hard to find the right time to wear it come right to the beach that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just not gonna say anything, but I can't talk too loudly now because I think my mom's sleeping or something. So it's just my shadows. I got a little confused there. I don't know how well you can even see, but this is like the attic dress. And I mean, I'm fairly certain it's from the 60s, but it looks like 30 style almost or something i could be completely wrong here but that's just what it reminds me of i think it's mostly because of the waist though because it's pretty low like early 30s from what i've seen of that i'm trying to block the light here and i just styled my hair like this and put on a pearl necklace um but i think it doesn't look very typical 50s but i think 50s in norway was a little bit different and I think for the size it was intended then the waist wouldn't have been this low so I'm like kind of thinking it could have been 50s but it could have also been 60s but it just it doesn't look typical 60s to me at all but that doesn't mean that it isn't I gotta try to show it off a little bit better uh, it's pretty cute though and I like the pattern and I like how it's sewn so it's got like kind of a seam here with like ruffles and the sleeves don't really fit me that well because it's another like I think you're supposed to have a little wider shoulders that's always my problem with clothing but I feel like my shoulders are like decently wide but apparently not because clothes always fit me weird like that it's just a weird thing but uh, yeah, I'm just trying my best to show the stress. Ah, forget that the ceiling is so low. But yeah, I think here you can see it pretty decently, including the hole at the bottom. But I like this a lot. I'm kind of getting like, uh, Alyssa from, uh, End of the bleeping world <laughs> show vibes from it at least if I just let my hair down because 
I realized that walking home, I saw my reflection in like a store window and I'm like, ah, hold on, I have like the same hairstyle as her now. And it's just odd, but like, I don't know, she has pretty cool hair, so I guess that's a good thing, but yeah. Okay, so I made an outfit out of the dress. Just hold on here, try to get back up on the bed. So. I did try belting it and I put like a top on under since I just really like collars and I thought this would be cute with this and well turns out it is this belt doesn't really match that well I don't think at least but it's the only like uh, black belt that I have that's like relatively thin because a thicker belt wouldn't work with this since this isn't really intended to be belted I don't think just by the way the pockets are sewn um yeah <laughs> here is the denim jacket so uh yeah I was saying there might be hope for it and that I could like I don't know paint some flowers and stuff on over the stains but there's just so many I don't think it's saveable I mean yes if I dyed it maybe but I just don't think it's worth it because then I'd have to go buy dye and I'm not sure what that costs but probably not uh, what I'm willing to pay to save this jacket so that's kind of sad and yeah. all right so this is my outro I guess because I forgot to film one and this is like several weeks after I filmed the rest of this video uh so yeah I'm recording this on my PC so it may sound very bad because I couldn't figure out how to do it on my phone and get it over to the computer um so I'm excited to see how this actually sounds probably bad sorry um but you can expect another video about the attic stuff pretty soon or I don't know maybe not that soon but I'm gonna try to fix the stuff up because this has been mostly me showing the stuff off and just kind of I don't know cleaning it up but the next one I will like actually fix the things up I think but thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you soon